Hi, today we are going to learn more about the affiliate program by AI Trillion. To access the affiliate program, all you have to do is log into AI Trillion and on the left hand side navigation bar, click on affiliate program and then on dashboard. The dashboard of the affiliate program shows you the total affiliates you have, the total commission, total purchases, list of recent affiliates and top affiliates, also shows you whether the affiliate program is on or off right here in the app status section, and then allows you to manage affiliates as per your requirements. The first thing to do in the affiliate program would be to go to configurations. Under configurations, you can set a cookie expiration date. That is how uh, far ahead would you like cookies in the affiliate program to expire? You can then set up custom customer parameters, a checkbox text. You can also choose when to add commission. So whether you want to add the commission when uh, the order is fulfilled or open, when to subtract commission. And then you can choose the commission holding period. So say you want the commission to be registered only five days at least five days after the order has been placed, you can do that. You can set up a minimum withdrawal amount and then a minimum balance request withdrawal. So this means that an affiliate would need to have a minimum balance of $25 to be able to withdraw a minimum of $10. So that is a minimum. He cannot withdraw five, he cannot withdraw seven, he has to withdraw 10, he can withdraw 20. But uh, the minimum balance to request the first, first withdrawal or uh, the withdrawal itself would be at least $25. You will also need a PayPal client ID and a PayPal client secret key, which would be available to you by PayPal. You can register a PayPal account and speak to their customer care for obtaining these. Once you have done the configuration, go to manage rules. Under manage rules, Click on create rule. This will probably be your first one, but you can create as many as you like, create rule. I'm going to enter a rule name, let's say test, and then two, three, four, five. I'm going to enable the rule. You can enable or disable as, as per your choice. You can select a customer group or a segment. I'm going to select all. If you do wish to select a segment, you can click on create new segment right over here, or you can create a segment in advance by going to www.aitrillion.com forward slash knowledge base. And then you can search for create segment to learn how to create specific segments. If you wish to en enter a description for your program, affiliate program rule, go ahead and do that. And once done, save. There, your rule has been created successfully. Now you need to go to manage programs and under Manage Programs, click on Create Program. Again, this might be your first, and you can create as many as you need. I'm going to call it Test 23456. I'm going to enable it. I'm going to select the rule that I need to. Now, this is the Test 2345 that I just created a few seconds back. Choose a commission type, whether you want to give a fixed commission or a percent. Say I want to give a percent, and I want to offer 7% to uh, as a commission. I'm going to save, program is created successfully. Once you've created, created your rules and programs, you can go to manage banners. Under manage banners, you can create a banner for an affiliate. All you have to do is click on create banner, choose a title, type a banner, the link the banner will lead to, status of the banner, whether it's enabled or disabled, and then the banner text. In addition to creating the banner from the affiliate program, you can also manage transactions where you'll be able to see all the transactions by the affiliates. You will also be able to manage withdrawals. So this is where you will be able to see withdrawal. Now, if any affiliate requests a withdrawal, you'll see it over here and you'll have the choice to accept the withdrawal or cancel the withdrawal as the case may be. After that, you can also go to the Manage Affiliates play page that is right under the dashboard. 
and you'll be able to see and manage all your affiliates from here. You can approve and disapprove affiliates as well once they register. In addition to that, if you have not already set up an affiliates page on your website, on your Shopify site, you need to go to configuration. Under configuration, choose a customer parameter, checkbox text, whether the checkbox is a check by default or not. And then use, after you made all your settings, use this code, place it on any Shopify page that you want to make your affiliates page, put that page into the navigation and save. So I'll show you what the affiliates uh, page looks like on the front end. So this is what your affiliate will see once they are logged in and they click on the affiliate page. So they'll be able to see uh, the affiliate program. I'm going to refresh this page for a second. So uh, I'm going, uh, this is the affiliates list of affiliates programs. Here is the test two, one, three, four, five, six that we just created with the commission level. You have the balance. The affiliate, the affiliate will be able to check their balance available on hold, the paid. You have the promo data. Now the promo data is uh, the affiliate's key code and uh, custom reference URL. This is the URL that the affiliate, you can copy the link and give uh, the affiliate can give it out to their customers. So basically what happens is when a particular person comes to your website and buys a product from this affiliate link, what will happen is a cookie will be placed on their computer that will register it with the affiliate. And anything they buy, will the commission, the commission for the affiliate will go to basically go to the affiliate and you'll uh, sell your product. The good part of it is these, the affiliates can do an immense job at getting customers for your site and you actually make a tidy profit and uh, the affiliate makes a small commission. Now picture this, that let's say you have a product for $100 on which you're giving, let's say 5% commissions, so that will be $5. You may have launched your site and you may be waiting for sales and waiting for sales and you may have a site that is, let's say not doing uh, very well in terms of sales or maybe it's just suffered a setback or for any particular reason, you give you launch an affiliate program and you give this affiliate link out. So maybe you didn't sell the product at one of, you know, one or two pieces of the product at let's say $100, but you would be able to sell, let's say five or six pieces of the product at $95, giving away $5 to the affiliate. The affiliate would have made some money and you would have not only uh, made a profit, but you probably stock out of that product. Here are the banners we created in the manage banner section, this one. So here are the banners we created and the banners are associated with a particular link and these banners can be used in multiple areas, you know, blog, social media, anywhere. Anybody clicking on one of these banners and uh, buying a product basically would link up to the affiliate uh, and their commissions and, their, uh, and your sales as well. In addition to the promo data, the affiliate would have the My Withdrawal section where they can as per the withdrawal rules uh, that you created. So we created $10 on a minimum withdrawal, uh, the minimum balance of $20, $25 and a $10 minimum payout. So they would be able to request uh, withdrawals from here. Last but not the least, you have the affiliate settings where the affiliate can put in their PayPal account details. A PayPal account would be essential. So. Uh, basically, that's the Shopify store name that they have, referring website, and then you have the PayPal email. That's all there is to the affiliate program. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let us know on support at aitrillion.com, or you can log on to our website, www.aitrillion.com, and live chat with us. Thank you so much, and have a great day.